Hi guys, I've got a really quick review for you today and I want to give you the heads up on these Park Du's, Park Du Blade sunglasses. What I want to do is do a quick review and compare them to a pair of fakes. A pair of fakes which are available really cheap compared to the original, but what we want to know is what's the quality, what's the comparison between those originals and the fakes. So let's have a look at the originals and I'll talk you through a couple of the good points. Well, first of all, they're fairly robust construction. Yes, they are basically plastic or polycarbonate lens with the silicon beads around the edge to give that uh, extra comfort fit. Once you, once you adjust the nose, um, most people I think will get a fairly good fit on those pot glasses. They are a great design and they have that nice wraparound. The wraparound is brilliant for wind protection. So if you're wearing them with a good helmet, and as you probably know, they do integrate with POC Octal helmet, but you can wear them with any helmet, of course, then you're not getting much intrusion from side winds. But just as that's a strength, it's also a disadvantage. So the disadvantage is they've got just tiny slits there for um, breathability. In other words, when you're talking about ventilation, as long as you keep moving, and I found you keep moving above, let's say 10 miles an hour, 15 kph, then you're getting enough wind in there to keep the glasses clear. However, at slow speeds, or if you try using these running, these are not really the best glasses because they will miss out. That's one of the big negatives. Another negative, I'm afraid to say, is that it's awkward to change out those lenses without getting your fingerprints all over it. There's no magnetic system here. It's a slightly awkward kind of clip system, and I found that pretty difficult. The lenses supplied are good quality, however, Carl Zeiss, and uh, the originals come with this second lens, which is mirrored, which looks really nice. So in terms of what you get in the box, it's pretty decent. Uh, another negative, however, is there's a limited adjustability. There's no uh, extensions on the arms. There's only an uh, ability to tweak that nose item, and some people might not get a good fit. So if you're going to spend this amount of money on a sunglasses pair, you really want to try these in advance. Secondly, I did find that the arms at the end, they had no way to tie on your little uh, cord. And a little hole or a little uh, hook would be an advantage there, in my opinion. And now we come to the main detractor of these. I mean, this is uh, pretty, pretty serious. These glasses, um, depending on the actual item you get, are between $150 and $230 US and around about the same price in euros or pounds. To me, that is a really expensive item for what is essentially a molded piece of plastic, albeit with a nice polycarbonate Carl Zeiss lens in there. Now, if we compare this to these fake pairs, which are labeled EOC uh, rather than POC, and I guess they do that to avoid any copyright problems, the fake pairs are extremely similar. In terms of design, in terms of weight, in terms of fitting, I can detect no difference. In fact, in the case of the fake pairs, you get this nice dark lens and you also get a multicolored uh, mirrored lens. The lenses, uh, in terms of quality, seem very good to me. It's hard to test them right here, but the quality of those lenses seems very good. The weight, we're talking about 33 grams for both pairs, so there's no difference in weight and there's no difference on comfort. Those silicon beads are present and adjustable. Now we come to the $64 million question, which is the difference in price. As I already said, the RRP for these is around $230. For these fakes, we're talking about $20. I mean, it's astonishing to think the quality that can be made for $20, or if you want to look at it this way, it's astonishing to see the price of these at $230. Now, whether that's a fair cost, for $230 versus $20, I want to point you out a graphic here of where the costs go in making a $200 versus $20, $20 pair of sunglasses. And I'm going to paste this in here for you now. It's not for me to say whether you should always buy originals or fakes, but obviously if the fakes are all identical in every area, clearly a lot of people are going to go for the fakes. However, there's one catch, and that is the UV protection. Now, the natural UV protection for sunglasses can be suspect at times because often sunglasses which are made for sports don't offer complete uh, UV protection, i.e. category 4 or 99% or filtering UAV A and B up to 400 nanometers. POC themselves say that they're rating some of their sunglasses at a level uh, 2 or 3, which means you may get 90% protection. However, one good thing is you do get protection here from the sides, so you don't get that intrusion of UVs from the sides that is an issue. But the unresolved question is, what is the UV protection on the uh, fakes? Now, personally, that doesn't bother me because I'm not buying these sunglasses for high sun use in the summer. 
I'm actually swapping them out for the low tint or clear lens and using them over winter for wind, mainly for wind protection and general safety. But the UV protection will be an issue for some people who are outdoors for long periods or live in high UV areas. So if that's you, I suggest you check that out, um, both in terms of the originals actually and the fakes. And as a point of comparison, let's just have a look at these slightly old school Tafosi glasses. Now, as it happens, these Tafosi glasses wear, weigh 30 grams. They've got a slight wraparound effect. I don't like the design as much as the Pox, but um, they are, to be honest, equally comfortable. You get a little bit more awareness of the frame on these Tafosis, I think, and you get a good selection of lenses, you know, with this Tafosi pack. This Tafosi set was on sale for around about uh, 30 to 40 dollars, brand new and original. Okay, so that's it guys, but let's quickly do some ratings. In terms of looks, I love the looks, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. In terms of comfort, I give it a 7 out of 10 because of the problems with adjustability, fitting the strap on the back, and also the difficulty changing the lens over. In terms of everyday function, I'd also give it a 7 out of 10 because of that slightly low natural UV rating that POC supplies. But I do love the wraparound and the absence of intrusion on the sides. And finally, in terms of price, I think the price is too high. I'd give it a 3 out of 10, but for you that might be okay. That's my rating, guys. POC do sunglasses versus fake versus Tifosi. Make up your own minds. Have a good one.